Welcome back, folks. Today we are talking to Ava Sandlin. She is the executive director of the Make-A-Wish Foundation right here in the Rio Grande Valley. Thank you so much for coming on. Well, thank you so much for having me. Now, I was doing a little research, and I have your mission right here, I believe. Okay. Now, it's to grant the wishes of children with life-threatening medical conditions to enrich the human experience with hope, strength, and joy. That's correct. That's now, correct. Now, tell us, let's dig a little bit deeper into that statement. Tell me a little bit more about how you all came up with that. Uh, well, of course, our national office out of Phoenix, Arizona, came up with the mission statement, but that is what we do worldwide, actually. And uh, our children are sometimes misunderstood. Mm -hmm. The people think that it is for children with, li with terminal illnesses, which is not correct. Mm -hmm. It is life-threatening. And to a parent, there's a world of difference in those two phrases. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we do grant the wishes of these children. When they come to us, they're between the ages of two and a half up to 18 mm -hmm. when they are referred to us. And we basically want to find out what that child would wish for if they could have one wish. Mm -hmm. If they could go anywhere, wow. do anything, have anything, or meet anyone. And we try to make it come true because we do want to give them that hope. Mm -hmm that strength, that will to fight for another tomorrow. So mm -hmm. that's why we're here and we've seen those miracles happen with the change of attitude. Really? Wow. Yes. And so how long has the, I guess, chapter been established here in the Rio Grande Valley? 20 years wow. actually. 20 yes. years. And still people are, do not realize that we have our own chapter at times. And so, yes, we're here to serve the six southernmost counties Wow. of Texas, uh, Hidalgo, Cameron, Star, Willis, Seabrooks, and Kennedy counties. Wow. So yeah. tell me what a day like is for you when you're walking <laughs> into the office or if you're on the go a lot. Tell us a little bit about what you, you know, do on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, you know, I look forward to every day. I really do. It is uh, so rewarding to work with these children and their families, mm -hmm. um, to see smiles come back on their faces to see the encouragement. I walk into the office to only two other employees. Really? We have a very small staff, wow. yet we grant, um, say, 80 to 100 wishes every year oh here in the Valley. So we have a very active board of directors who keep the funding coming in for us so that we can grant these wishes. And we have volunteers who are the backbone of our organization as well. But we have families dropping by all the time. Great. We have our interviews to find out what these wishes are, and then we go forward with making them the most memorable experience with all the bells and whistles we can come up with wow. to make this the best time of this child's life. Wow. Now, in your time working with the foundation, I know every wish is special and unique in their own way, but has there ever been one that kind of is just like, wow, that's, you know, you'd been so just taken back by it, thought it was amazing or very unique that someone would want this? Actually, that's happened many times, <laughs> but I guess the most impressive time was the, we do have so many Disney wishes. Mm -hmm. That's our most popular wish by far. <laughs> but we had one little girl that told her volunteers that she wanted to go to Florida and they automatically thought it was to go to Disney. Right. And she said, no, I want to go to Tampa. Huh. And yes, that's the same <laughs> thing they said. And uh, it was like, uh, why Tampa? And she said, I want to go back and put red roses on my mama's grave. Oh, my goodness. She said, I know she liked red roses because let me show you this picture of her holding me when I was a baby. Oh and gosh. she said she had red roses on her dress. And she uh, wanted to go back. She needed closure. Mm -hmm. And she wanted to go back to her mother's grave. And when she was six years old, uh, her mother passed away. Oh. And she and her brother moved back to Brownsville mm -hmm. to live with the grandmother. They'd been trying to save money to get a headstone for the grave. Oh, but they were goodness. very poor and mm -hmm. couldn't afford it. We made sure that she went back to see her mother's grave. We had a headstone made wow. that had roses on it. We had ro fresh roses for her to put on the grave. We had, uh, thanks to my youth advisory group, they came up with the idea of making a little locket for her with her mother's picture in wow. it. And um, it, was, it was a very unselfish wish. 
as mm -hmm. most of our wishes are, but wow. it was it was one that really stood out to That's me. Amazing. I know. I just listening to that, you know, wanted gave me chills just to think yeah. about that. Wow. And, yeah. and how old was the? Fish? She was twelve. Wow. She a 12 and her, year old. uh huh, yes. And then she had been diagnosed with a life-threatening medical mm -hmm. condition. But yet she wanted 12. to give her mother roses. That's amazing. Yes. That's amazing. I bet you meet such unique children on a day to day we basis do. and just to hear that and then after oh. granting their wishes, you know, like you said, they they yes. become, you know, revived and they want to they have the joy Absolutely. and the strength. We just had a little boy who wanted a shopping spree and <laughs> as part of his shopping spree, uh, he loved golf. He wanted golf clubs but he was just about out of money but mm -hmm. he wanted to save enough money back so that he could buy toys for the children at the hospital wow. where he spent so much time wow. so instead of him getting something for himself he wanted to give back to others wow that's amazing yes. these kids are very just special and they're just have the heroes. biggest cards yes. oh they are they're my little heroes <laughs> absolutely the beta sigma phi does a christmas party for us each year for all of our children wow and that is the best night of my entire year. Yeah. That's my wish come true <laughs> because I get to see all my children. We're approaching our 1200th wish wow. since we became a chapter here. And I get to see all of my family and they are like a big family to me, wow, and all my amazing. children. Now, if people wanted to volunteer or give their time back, where could yes. they go or how could they do that? Just give us a call, 686-WISH-9474. We'll send you a volunteer application. You can also keep up with us on Facebook. That's mm -hmm. the best way. And you can see about our different things that we have coming up, our wishes, um, the activities that we have. But we are going to have volunteer training soon. Okay. Uh, I mean, a wish-granting training. <laughs> and this is where they can become actual fairy godmothers or fairy godfathers. Oh, goodness, how wonderful. And so we'd love to have more people, especially in the lower valley. We need volunteers, we need events, we need mm -hmm. fundraisers. In the lower valley, we have um, about a third of our children mm -hmm. from the Cameron, Cameron County area that we have no fundraising there wow. to speak of. So we would really like to get more participation in the lower valley. Perfect. Well, thank you so much, Ava, for thank coming you. in today. I really thank appreciate you. it, and uh, have a happy new year. Oh, I will with all my children. Yes, <laughs> yes thank, thank you, so thank you. Much. and the same to you. Thank, thank you very you. much. Thank you. All right, folks. Well, thank you so much for joining us this Sunday. We will see you back here next year.